Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Shendla and this is Pinky. And in today's video, we'll be doing a two light setup for a dual tone beauty look. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So we are going to have a look at our setup and we'll start first with our key light. First, we have the Godox AD200 Pro inside the Godox 80 by 80 centimeter soft box. That's double diffuse. And that would have one of these. That's the blue light gel or the blue light filter. It will be attached to the AD200 Pro. And we have that on a boom stand in sort of a clamshell position so the light is going to be roughly 45 degrees towards our model and then for our rim light we have this that's our 120 centimeter reflective octagonal umbrella and then we have this velvet cutout so in frame of the camera that's going to be our backdrop this will be acting as a black backdrop inside the umbrella we have a godox tt600 with one of these that's the full ct orange full color temperature orange and that light is going to sort of come wrap around this to give the model a rim lighting effect do you get me so that's for our rim lights this is our backdrop and then last but not least we have our reflector to act as a fill for our key lighting because of the way the light is angled down she's going to have a lot of drop down shadows and in order to counteract that or to lift up the shadows we have our fill light here so we are going to have our model come sit down and then we we'll start testing our lights so we have our beautiful model pinky here and for our camera today, we'll be using the Canon EOS RP with the Viltrox EF2 EOS R adapter. We'll be using the Canon EFS 18 to 135 f3.5 to f5.6 IS lens. And for our trigger, we'll be triggering our lights with the Godox X2T for Canon. So Pinky will be here, and I'm going to take my place, and then we we'll start shooting. All right. So we are back and for my settings today we'll be using a shutter speed of 1 over 180 an aperture of f8 and an iso of 200 the ad 200 will be our a light so if ever i say the a light i'm talking about the ad 200 pro and our b light will be the tt600 for the rim light so first of all i'm going to take a picture with none of our lights activated that's both the a light and the b light will be off to make sure that with our settings we have none of our ambient light affecting the shot so i'm going to do that right now all right let me turn let me turn this off the b light off make sure none of it is all right so as you can see our frame is totally pitch black and that means that none of our, um, our ambient lights in the studio here are affecting our shots now i'm going to start working from the rim light i'm going to turn the b light on and get that setting right so let me turn it on and set it to manual and then i'm having it at one over eight power that's the tt600 i'm going to frame here and take a shot to see how it looks wow so as you can see we have orange our orange rim light showing in our shots 
we have it on the side of her head part of her hair and on the edges of her arms now it's at 1 8 power but i want the intensity to be a bit more so i'm going to increase that by a stop to 1 4th power and let me take it wow i like this now i like this all right so now the effect is more pronounced yes the orange effect the orange rim effect is more pronounced so i'm going to turn that off so i'm going to turn off the b light um, yes and then turn on my a light and test that too so i'm going to set it to it's giving me one eighth power and let me see one eighth power let me see how that looks let me shift make sure the frame is good all right i think i like how it looks at one eighth maybe i'll add a third of a stop power to it so one eighth plus 0.3 of a stop yes i think i prefer this let me take that again for you guys to see lovely lovely so now i'm simply going to combine the two so i'll turn on the b lights that's our rim lights one fourth power I think you can give me a nice pose. All right, that's cute. Wow. And as you can see, we have a dual tone look, the blue contrasting with the orange. I want to reduce the power of the blue to give me a little bit more contrast. So I'm taking the A light to 1 16th of a power. 16 power let me get this in frame yep wow now that's more like it we have a more dramatic look to it i think i like this i like this a lot we have a more dramatic look the orange is more pronounced so we are just going to start shooting and let's see what we can get Right, so kindly pose for me, Pinky. Yeah. All right, remember guys, if you are enjoying the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe as well to see more videos like this. All right, so now we are going to change the setup a little bit. I'm going to show you guys how the pictures will look without the gels. So let me do that and then I'll get right back to you. So I've taken the gels off. I just wanted to show you guys how it will look without the color filters as a standard beauty portrait. So first, like we did earlier, I'm going to disable the A light and let's see how the rim light looks on Pinky. Wow, as you can see, we just have a nice, neat, white rim light around here. Let me take another one. Yep, and that's, that's perfect. So, I'm going to turn off our B light and turn on our A light. The B light was at one fourth power, in case I didn't mention it. And our A light is going to be at one sixteenth power plus a third of a stop. 
So let's see how our A light looks, our key light. Bang on. Let me zoom out a little. Wow, that's that's really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. So I'm going to turn on the B light, combine them, and let's see what we can take. All right, so as you guys can see, that's how we take beauty shoots using a two light setup. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like as well as subscribe. I'll be throwing the pictures on the screen. If you want to know how I retouch them, kindly leave a comment below. I'll do a video about that. And I guess I'll talk to you guys next time. Stay safe.